So in today's video, we will be changing out the shifter the, from the stock shifter to this cool Barton old school pistol grip shifter. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that you will want to do is pull this small tray out and then you've got clips on each side kind of pushing it in that you would want to pull out. And then once you get those four kind of clippy things off, that just the, these guys, you know, that push in, you will have a T25 right there. And if you undo that, this will come off. All right. And once you get that T25 out, you can just, if you push the button in, you can pull this piece out right here. And you do want to un disconnect this wire here, like so, boom, and that comes out. All right, so once you have this main part pulled out on the bottom, you got these like clip things, and if you push them all in, like so, this will come apart, so you got just this. And that will leave you with just this. And once you got this, what you want to do is push this down so you can see this clippy part. It's kind of hard to see, but that one and that one. You want to push them in and then this will cut then this yellow piece will pop off. All right. A little bit tricky, but not too bad. Once you get it off, this piece will separate from this, which is your main trigger. And what you want to do is push, like you want to squeeze this in to get this adhesive off because you will not be using this yellow piece anymore. So you got to get this off. And once you get this off, it's pretty easy. You just push in and all the adhesive pops off. So now it's ready to slide this in. The only issue is because this base is so big, when you slide it in, it won't make it through the hole. So here on the seams where they stitched it at, you just want to cut a small seam on each side so it can widen it up a little bit. All right, so once you cut it a little bit, you can see here, and you get it on, you can zip tie it so it stays together. And there's a small groove there that will, the zip tie should be able to, you know, sit in. So, so then it should look like this with the zip tie on it. All right, so once you get that done, you got to get this out right here. And you gotta put the set screw in it. And it's uh, 332s. You gotta put it down here. And then that set screw, right, that the set screw right here goes into that hole right there. Pretty easy. Now that you have this on, which is what the shifter will go on to, you have to plug in the old shifter to this and run it underneath this and just keep it in there. Because if this is not plugged in, you will get, like, check engine lights and stuff. So you just got to plug this in and run it under here. You have two Phillips screws. You take those out, and that will pop right up. And so once you get this out, you can just kind of pop it out. It'll pop right out. You want to plug the... You want to plug this back in. I'm just gonna put a towel around it and stuff so it doesn't get so it doesn't make too much noise down in there. 
and then hard to do with one hand. You can tuck it kind of, kind of like that, and then you can just run it. I'm gonna run it on the on this side, and then just have it like that, and then you can put that back in. So once you get that, you can just push it back in those, put those two screws back on. You can put this back on. It just pushes on, which is pretty easy. You can pop that stupid thing back on. And now you can bolt this back on. And to do so, you go to need. They give you two springs and a screw. So once you get the screws in, or the, the springs, you can push that down, like so, and then you have to put a screw, you have to push it down and put the screw in that hole right there. And then so this last, last part, if you move it down a gear, Clip it all in, and that is your end result.